Well, hey guys, it is May the 13th, 2020, and listen, it has been almost a week probably since I've been with you. Um, hadn't been able to go digging here early in the mornings uh, for about a week or so. Um, of course, Mother's Day weekend uh, has come and gone, and was busy Sunday, and Saturday we decided to get out of the house for the first time in probably over uh, two months, and we took the kids to a drive through safari, so that was real good, but... Anyway, I just hadn't been able to get out and go, but um, <clears throat> things uh, things are changing, and uh, thank the good Lord, my wife, uh, she's a salon owner, and she got to go ahead and open back up Monday, so she has went back to work, and I've got my boys until I go back to work on June the 1st, and um, I hadn't been able to get up and go digging in the morning, which is fine. Hey, we've been spending some some good quality time together, and, and if you look at those bottles right there, the quarantine digging has been really good to me uh, over the last few weeks. Uh, really blessed that I was able to go do that. But anyway, I get a, I get a lot of questions about uh, my cleanup and, and how I get, get the bottles to looking uh, pretty good. And listen, I'm not saying this method is the right method because there's several different things that you can use. But um, I've, I've done a few cleanup videos and I'll probably show you some of the same bottles that I have shown you in previous uh, videos. But I'm just going to kind of start with this section right here because this is stuff that I have cleaned up. Now, you can, uh, I've got a big bottle brush set and i tell you what, let me let me just cut this off and let me get that bottle brush set out and, and let me show it all to right, you. All right, so I get asked all the time about, you know, what do you use to clean your bottles? Well, to be honest with you, if it's got a lot of, if they've got a lot of mud in them, I usually just take, uh, take the water hose outside and I shoot up inside of them and, and get most of that out before I ever bring them inside. Luckily, I have a sink right here in our utility room that I can use and um, I wash them right here. But if you get on eBay, they 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 sell a, uh, not eBay, if you get on Amazon, they sell a, a bottle brush kit. And if you look at this one right here, I don't know if you can tell, that thing is huge. And whenever you stick that down inside the bottle, and, it, and it'll and it'll fit, it'll fit through the through the hole of, of most of them. Once you get that down inside there, that and twirl it, that thing covers the entire area of the bottle. So any kind of grime that you can get loose from there, it's going to get it. Now for the, for these for these older cork types right here that get stuff up in the corners, they're a little more difficult. And you can uh, you can use this big one, and then you can get these smaller ones and you can tell that thing's kind of crooked because I bent it and I actually had to use this long one the other day and I bent the tip so I could stick it stick it in there and I could turn it like this and get up in the corner and get some of that stuff out so um, it's just a variety of stuff you can use and, and right here you can see I've got a hanger I've got it folded up right now but if there's some small stuff down on the side, you can get the tip of that hanger and scratch it off and, and get it out. But that's mostly what I use. <clears throat> and I, I tell you what I've been using on some of my on some of my better bottles, and I've got to get some uh, from my display case at work and do this to them also. But you can take baby oil, and let me get one that I haven't done. Now that's a... Uh, that's one of the Ackerman Cokes that I, and it's in rough shape that I found. It's got the end knocked off of it. Um, and you can see it's got a lot of case wear on it and there's some stains on the inside right there. And it might not look totally this good because this is one of my better ones. This is probably one of the, I think this is the first one I've ever dug. And that's a 1915 and it had just a little bit of case wear on it and you really can't tell it. You can see Ackerman, Mississippi right there. But I took baby oil and I coated the inside of it. So I just poured a little bit in there and I took it as like so and did it back and forth. And then you can take baby oil if it's rough on the outside and it's got case wear and just kind of rub it. And it lasts a long time and uh, and can make it look brand new. I did, I did the same thing with these big, big chief bottles. Uh, this one was actually found on top of the ground. A guy found it and gave it to me. It's from actually from Aberdeen. And uh, I coated the inside of it with it. Didn't have to rub me on the outside. This is a big chief bottle that I found about, a, I don't know, a month or two ago. Maybe, man, it's been so long I can't remember. But I coated the inside with it and rubbed a little bit on the outside and it cleaned up real good. Um, here's, a, here's a West Point soda water. 
and I, and I wish I'd have done a before thing, but this thing had had a lot of uh, milky looking stains on the inside of it, coated the inside of it, and you can't tell it. Here's a uh, there's a Chero Cola bottle from the teens that a guy gave me from Columbus, Mississippi. And uh, I coated the inside of it and it had a lot of wear on the outside of it and you can't even tell it right there. There's a, uh, and this one wasn't in too bad shape, but check that out. That's crystal clear. That's that quality beverages from West Point. And it looks good. <clears throat> and some of my uh, older bottles that's a straight side coat from West Point, and you can tell, you can still see some of the wear on the outside of it, but it's, it, it made a world of difference putting that, uh, that stuff on there, uh, and doing it. Um, and here's a rights, the rights that my buddy Brady gave me, I coated it, and, and, and like I said, you can still see some of the imperfections, but it looks a lot better with that stuff on there. There's a soda water. So anyway... Kind of that whole section right there, I've taken and just put, I put baby oil on. Um, it doesn't work as well on some of these cork types. Um, I, I have done it to a few of them. I was going to tell you something else. I'm not a big fan of purchasing bottles. I actually, I had a, I had an Ackerman, and it's actually this one right here. Got an Ackerman 1915 right here, and it ain't, it's, it's not one of my best ones. I've got, um, I've got one right here. I think this is the one I raked out from under the uh, the velvet tobacco sign, and I hadn't put uh, any baby oil or anything like that on it yet. But anyway, you know, it, it kind of, as much as I would like to keep them, it really doesn't make good sense having several bottles because I've got an Acura 1915 that my daddy gave me, and Hart found one creek walking a year ago, Father's Day weekend. And of course, I dug my first one, so that's three. And then I got two. I got two of them that are in pretty bad shape. This one, and I believe this one. That one's in bad shape. Of course, I would probably wouldn't be able to sell them. And then I have this one. So that makes uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. That that makes six. Three in really good shape, and then these two. Well, I had another one in really good shape, and I. I I've been talking to a guy that's, that's really been helping me out a lot, you know, just, just tell me about values and things of that nature. It's Ackerman bottle is a rare plus bottle in the uh, Porter's book. And, and there's a there's a book out there that that, that ranks each uh, Coke bottle, what, whatever patent date it is, and kind of gives you a ranking on it if it's rare, scarce, rare plus. Well, Ackerman is actually a rare plus bottle. So... And I've, and I've actually found three of them in a hole, uh, you know, are good ones within the last two months. So, um, I don't know. I, I just had this one, and he was talking to me about value. So, I decided to post one of them or sell one of them on eBay. And actually, the, the uh, bidding's not over until Friday the 15th, uh, late that evening. So... And actually, the minimum the minimum bid the minimum bid that I set has already been met already, which I was I was pretty tickled that it was that. Now, I've got about thirteen people watching it. Excuse me, my phone's ringing. Got thirteen people watching it, so I'm hoping that that uh that value will get on up there before the bidding ends. But we'll see what happens. So so with that being said about eBay. I'm not a big fan of purchasing bottles, but I was on there after I listed mine the other day. And I saw this Greenville, this Greenville Steam uh, Bottling Works uh, bottle. This one, that's a clear one. And then this aqua one, and you can hardly see it because it's it's really stained up, but it says, it says the same thing. The Greenville Steam Bottling Works and uh, got Mississippi right here. Now, I'm not a big fan of purchasing them, but I run across this, and the the price was already cheap. And I and I offered, I just 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 for giggles, I just offered fifteen dollars for the both of these, and the guy accepted. And with the shipping and everything, I think I ended up giving maybe thirty five for both. But that one bottle right there is worth about thirty five, so I got a really good deal on it. And plus, it's you know the likelihood of me digging one of these in my lifetime is probably not going to happen. So. 
And like I said, I just don't buy them all the time, but if I run across a good deal, I'll uh, occasionally do that. Now we were talking about cleaning. This one right here would be a good candidate for tumbling. Now you can buy a tumbler and you can put, uh, you put metal and like uh, I think a rubbing compound in there and you let that bottle turn up in there and that, that uh, you actually use, the best thing to use is copper shavings. Those copper sha shavings will lubricate this thing and that compound will get in there and this bottle will look basically brand new. Uh, the tumblers are fairly exp expensive and I don't know, I just, I don't, I don't have a lot of time and, and uh, I'd have to put this thing in here and you can leave them for several days. So I don't know, I'm, I might like look into buying one of those, but you know, the way I've been doing it, they've been cleaning up pretty good, but there's really no way I can get the stains out of this one. So anyway, man, uh, but anyway, I, hey, I appreciate y'all watching. And, and let me tell you, I've been really fortunate in the stuff I've found uh, since this quarantine is set in. And there's still some more stuff in that hole. I'm just not going to be able to go early in the morning as much as I've uh, been able to, uh, you know, just because we're, uh, we're getting back to a new normal in life. So anyway, hey, if you've been affected by this, and I'm sure you have in some way, you know, I just pray that uh, you'll find a new normal and uh and just make the best out of it because uh whether you realize or not you know nothing's ever gonna go perfect and uh you just gotta see the best in everything and um and just do what the lord would have you to do and just follow him so uh anyway we appreciate y'all watching hope you like the video and go subscribe to the jones boys